Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to design such a part in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system and we can create paid projects in this system and we can earn money from these projects. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. And now let's proceed to create this part. I will start a new project in the part design module. Select the part design module and create a new project. We will start by creating a sketch on the XZ plane. Choose to create a sketch and here, as the sketch plane, select the XZ plane. We can choose the planes by selecting the sketch plane in the workspace or we can click here and click OK. Now we will create a circle whose center will lie on the Y axis. Choose to draw a circle and draw a circle here with a diameter of 50 millimeters. OK, for now we are doing something like this. Now select the polyline tool and draw a polyline so that the first point of the polyline lies on the Y axis. The second point of the polyline is at the origin of the coordinate system. Then place the third point of the polyline on the X axis and the fourth point of the polyline on the circle. Right click to finish drawing the polyline and right click again to exit this command. In my case, I have automatic constraints enabled and make sure you also have these options enabled. The automatic constraints option allows the geometry we are drawing to be constrained to the highlighted geometry when hovering over a geometry. In this case, by drawing the polyline, we constrained the points of the polyline to the Y axis, the origin of the coordinate system, the X axis, and the circle. Now select this point and the circle and choose this constraint. Then select this point and the center of the circle and choose the horizontal vertical constraint. OK, now we will trim a fragment of the geometry. Select the trim command and trim this segment of the circle and this segment of the circle so that we have this shape. And now let's add dimensions. Select this point and this point and choose dimensioning. Here, enter the dimension of 60 millimeters. Hit enter. And here, as you can see, the sketch is fully constrained. Close the sketch and now, based on this sketch, we will create a solid by rotating the sketch around the selected axis. To do this, select the revolution command. And such a solid has been created. Here by default the vertical axis of the sketch has been selected as the rotation axis. However, in this case this sketch axis coincides with the base Z axis. So in this case we can choose either the base Z axis or the vertical axis of the sketch. We create a solid by rotating the sketch around the Z axis by 360 degrees and click OK to confirm it. Now we will create another sketch this time we will create a sketch on the XZ plane. Choose to create a sketch and select the XZ plane. Now I would like to create a rectangle, but here select the center rectangle command. And let's draw a rectangle so that the center of this rectangle lies on the Y axis. At this moment we can place the center of the rectangle above the model and here let's draw a rectangle with dimensions of 25 millimeters. I enter 25, press tab, and this dimension doesn't matter much. Let's enter, for example, 50 millimeters. Hit enter, and we have such a rectangle. However, I would like the bottom edge of the rectangle to be offset by 7 millimeters from the bottom edge of the solid. In this case, this solid somewhat obstructs my view, and to switch to the sketch plane, so that this part of the solid does not obscure the sketch and the sketch is fully visible, we go to the sketch menu and select the view section option. Now I right click to cancel the rectangle drawing command as this command is still active. I select this point, this point and press the D key. I move the mouse in this direction, click the left mouse button and here I enter 7 millimeters and press enter and right click to cancel the dimensioning. And I will slightly increase this dimension so that the rectangle sticks out fully above the model. 
I double click here with the left mouse button and enter 60 millimeters, and I press enter. In fact, this dimension is not crucial. What matters is that the rectangle is sticks out of the body. Click close and now based on this sketch we will remove material and we can do this using the pocket operation. Select this operation and I would like to remove material through the entire solid. Here we can define the length of such an extrusion. We can change this parameter by scrolling the mouse wheel or we can simply enter a specific value here. But we can also use the through all operation type here and now this operation will be executed through the whole solid but as you can see it has only been performed in one direction. However, if we check the symmetric to plane option it will be performed in both directions and that's what I wanted to achieve. Click OK. Now we will create a hole in the solid and to do this we create another sketch. We create a sketch on the YZ plane. Select this plane. Here I will immediately switch to the section view and draw a circle whose center will lie on the Y axis. A circle with a diameter of 10 millimeters. OK. Right click to cancel the circle drawing and I select the center of the circle, select the origin point of the coordinate system and press the D key. I define the dimension as 40 millimeters and click close to exit the sketch. And now based on this sketch we will create a hole in this solid. We will also do this using the pocket operation. Select this operation. Here select through all as type and select the symmetric to plane option. And in this way the hole has been created through the entire solid. Click OK to confirm and we have something like this. Now we will move on to adding chamfers. With the control key select these three faces and select the chamfer command. Let's add a chamfer of 2 millimeters. Click OK. Next let's select the outer edges of the holes. Here we need to do this with the control key. OK. And we also select the chamfer operation and add a chamfer of 2 millimeters. OK. And let's add another chamfer on the bottom face. Select this face. Select the chamfer operation. And here also add a chamfer of 2 millimeters. And we have something like this. Now we will create another sketch. Select to create a sketch. And this time we will create a sketch on the XZ plane. Select this plane. And here like this, first select the create external geometry command to create a reference geometry to this edge. Right click to cancel this command and switch to the section view. And here we will create a centered rectangle so that the center of the rectangle lies at this point and the second point of the rectangle is placed on this line. When this line is highlighted, click the left mouse button and this way we created this rectangle. Now click the right mouse button to cancel the rectangle drawing and we will add dimensions to the rectangle. Click on this edge and press the D key. And here, as the dimension of the rectangle, enter 20 millimeters. And regarding the second dimension of the rectangle, we do not need to specify it because we constrained this point to this line. Close the sketch and now, based on this sketch, we will add the pocket operation to remove material here. Select the pocket operation and just like in the previous cases, select through all and symmetric to plane. And click OK to confirm it. Then with the control key select these two edges and add a chamfer of one millimeter here. Click OK. And now select this face and this face with the control key and let's add an extrusion here. Select the pad operation and based on the selection of the face we can also add extrusions. 
let's add an extrusion of 10 millimeters here and click OK. Then, with the control key, select these two faces and add a chamfer of 2 millimeters here and click OK. And this way, we created this solid. And the goal of this lesson was not to create such a solid, but simply to show you a few basic operations for creating three dimensional solids in FreeCAD. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.